guys. Let's put together a card. I have several pieces here. They're really not bad though. And I messed up on my cutting. I don't know what I did. So I had to shave my card base down a little bit. So it is four and a quarter by five and three eighths. And then I cut this white piece the same size and then this pink vellum the same size. Four and a quarter by five and three eighths. This white piece I'm going to put on the back because I want this vellum to be on the front, but I don't want that to be seen on the back. So I'm going to put a white piece over it. I just kind of mitered that edge a little bit so it wouldn't be so bulky down at the corners. So let me get some strong two sided tape. To put on there. And by doing it this way and putting that on the back, you won't see the adhesive. Because you know, sometimes you buy cards at the store that have either vellum or acetate over them, and they're just really pretty and soft. That's kind of what I had in mind. It was just something really, I guess, soft is the best way to describe it. There we go. I've got something on my white panel here. And I'll, oh, it's um, pencil shavings. Guess I didn't get it all the way wiped off my desk. I bought the cutest stamp set the other day. You know, a while back I I did a card with um, the Disney theme up. And I said I couldn't remember where I got it from. It's from Kindred Stamps. Because, see, I have this bad habit of taking most of my stamp sets out of their original packaging and storing them in sleeves in a... Um, regular binder. The only ones I leave in their original packaging are the May May Made It stamps because I use them the most and I keep them hanging on my pegboard and now the Mindless Crafting stamp sets. I'll be using those more and they'll be hanging on my pegboard as well. And those are the only ones I really keep in their original packaging. Anyway, I said all of that to say this. I got a stamp set the other day from Kindred Stamps that is um, like Mary Poppins. It is so cute. It's just adorable. Absolutely adorable. She does a lot of stamp sets like that that are... Um, she does like a, a lot of pop culture type stamp sets. And she does a lot of... Disney type stamp sets. And they are adorable. If you're a Disney fan like I am, oh no. Dad gum it. I think it's gonna be alright. And then I have a doily that I'm going to put down. And then I have two ovals that I cut out. One is just a polka dotted uh, pattern paper that I had that has multi colors on it. And then I have that um, shimmery Nina cardstock. This is the pink one. And I heat embossed Hello in copper. I thought it'd be cute. 
and then I have some of these little gem looking flowers that I got from Dollar Tree a long time ago. Let's see. The only thing I don't like about these doilies is that, and I'm not worried about all that glue you can see, because you won't see it when I'm done, is that there's a flat spot on a couple of the areas. I don't know, it, it ends up working out, but... I popped up the shimmery pink on foam, the sentiment. But I got these these little my ring turned around backwards these little flowers and then I just used a different little gem that I had in the center I've had these for about three years I am trying desperately to use what I have and stop buying things stamp sets is different I will still be buying stamp sets not at the rate that I was because I have a lot of stamp sets that I have found that I haven't used and then I have some that I don't even like. I don't even know why I bought them. So now I have to figure out if I'm going to de-stash them or what I'm going to do and if so, where am I going to de-stash them? Alright, now do I want to use Baker's Twine on the side of it or no? I got the most beautiful birthday card from my mother. I cried, and my, my husband always gets me the sweetest, and so does my son. Sometimes my son gets a sweet one, and then other times he gets a funny one. And so every year it's, okay, what's Josh going to get this year? You know what I mean? And I love that about it. I love that he doesn't do the same thing every year, and that he always... It's always appropriate. You know, if I need a good laugh, it just happens to be the right time for that. Or, I don't know. He just always knows the, the right thing to get. Anyway, they both got me super sweet cards. And just other things. We're not going to get into all that. Um, but my mom sent me... Probably one of the sweetest cards I've ever received from her. She always sends a sweet one, but this one, just, oh my goodness, I cried like a baby for about an hour. For about an hour. Um, I'm a real sentimental person anyway. I, I, I don't know, I, I'm real sentimental. That's just the only way I know to describe me. Um, I'm the one that hangs on to cards. I have cards from years ago. And I, I, don't, I don't think that's a bad thing. Because the people that purchased those cards cared enough to pick out one that they believed said the best thing at the time from them for me. You know what I mean? So, I was going to move this up, but I've got it so tight that I'm afraid I'll rip the vellum, so I'm not going to do it. Anyway, so I have cards from, well, I probably have cards from when I was a teenager because they're easy to store, right? They don't take up a whole lot of room. And typically, the person that, well, with my family for sure, they always write something from the heart in it. Um, let me get a glue dot. I need a little one. 
these my little ones? Nope, those are my big ones. So yeah, it took me a while to quit bawling over that card. And, you know, I get asked by my husband and by my son both, what do you want for your birthday? What do you want for Christmas? And the only thing I ever want from them is a card. That's it. I have everything I need. God has blessed me. You know what I mean? I want a card. That's it. And that's never good enough for them, that answer. They don't they don't seem to like that answer. My son really doesn't like that answer. But, you know, I, I tried to explain to him that a card I will have decades from now. And items come and go, you know? We change, we grow, and you don't hang on to those items for years and years and years. Now I have an angel. He got me when he was a little boy. He bought it at a garage sale that's at the church next to us. And I still have that angel because he was a little boy. He was like seven years old, and he spent his some of his allowance to buy that angel because I love angels. I have one in every room, even the bathrooms. And I was always told that you should keep an angel in every room. It helps, you know, look over you. I know it's a silly saying, but I believe there are angels, you know? Anyway, I still have that angel. But I told him, I said, you know, Years from now, I won't still have whatever that item is that you're thinking about buying. But if you go buy me a card, years from now, probably after I pass one day, you will be looking through things and find all of those cards. Why? Because years from now, I can look back on them. They're all dated, and they mean the world to me. He got a little bit teary-eyed. And he said, I understand now, Mom. You know, thanks for letting me know that. So he said, but I still think you deserve more. And I said, it's not about what's deserved or what's not. It's about... It, items, things are just not that important to me. I think I want to use that third one up there. So, anyway, it was super duper sweet, and I got very beautiful cards from all of them. I got other things, but the cards mean the most to me, and I think that's one of the reasons why I put so much love and care into every card I make, is because I know people who hang on to those cards. My son is guilty of that. I guess he got it from me. I don't know. Um, I need a little heart. Anyway, so I put love and care into each one I make. Let's see. Let's pop him down here. Yesterday was my uncle's birthday, my mom's brother, and unfortunately, he's no longer with us. March is a busy birthday month for my family. It's crazy. My dad's was the 14th. My best male friend from childhood, his was the 15th. My nephew's was the 17th. My best female friend's was the 20th. Mine was the 21st. Uh, Miss Tracy, her was, hers was the 11th. It's a busy month for birthdays. And, oh, and I had to schedule an appointment with a new spine doctor. And the woman that I spoke to on the phone, she called me on my birthday to schedule the appointment. She, 
I mean, she didn't do it because it was my birthday. She did it because we needed to schedule an appointment. Anyway, it was her birthday, too. I was like, wow, what a small world. <laughs> what are the odds? Anyway, March is a busy month. So there we go. You guys let me know what you think. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with me. I certainly appreciate it. I hope you all have a great day and a glorious tomorrow. Bye, guys.